Hi, I'm Dr. Molly with Your Goals Physical Therapy. If you're a runner, then I bet that you have tried rolling your IT band. You probably have a big foam roller, or maybe it's a little foam roller. Anyway, you have a foam roller that you uh, religiously try to stretch that IT band because it gets tight and that your hip or your knee bothers you um, from running. And so you've been taught that stretching your IT band will help eliminate that pain. And to you know, be fair, it probably does help at least for uh, temporary to get rid of that pain. And it can be a very intense nagging pain in your knee or your hip. Um, and so um, I'm always impressed with the people that can get those foam rollers that have the knobs on them and like they really get in there with those IT, those, um, those foam rollers on the IT band. And if that's helping you, by all means, that, that, is a, that is fabulous because sometimes just stretching does help. But if this is something that's been persisting and it's been months and maybe you're stuck and you're not able to run as fast as you want or you're not able to make it as long as you want because this pain is just kind of persistent and it's not going away, um, th then I'm going to you know, kind of suggest that it is actually more of a hip or an ankle sh strength or st stability problem. And so when your foot is hitting the ground, if it's not stable or your hip's not stable, it puts a lot of strain on your knee. And it turns out that that IT band and your TFL, which is what the IT band is attached to in your hip, tend to be very sturdy muscles and they can help with hip flexion and some, you know, and other stability things. And they just take over. And so what happens is instead of there being multiple muscles trying to do the running for you, you end up getting one muscle that's overbearing and doing a lot more work until it just can't do it anymore. And then that's where you're getting this pain. And so the trick to that is very robust stretching program. So it's not just your IT band. You need to make sure you're getting your hips and your, excuse me, your hamstrings and your quadriceps and your hip flexors. So the front of your thigh, the front of your hip and the back of your thigh, you want to make sure that all of them are getting stretched. Um, also your calves. Um, and then you want to make sure that you're getting your, uh, you're strengthening your ankle and you're strengthening your hip, which does mean that, you know, you're going to take one of your running days and make it a strength training day. And maybe one of your days is a, is a stretching day in your, in your training program. And I promise that will not deter you from being able to run faster or run longer. It will actually help you um, be able to achieve those goals. So sometimes as runners, we get dead set on just running and we just want to run and there's no way you're going to take me off because if I miss a day, I'm not going to be able to run as far or as fast um, or as well as I was before. And that's truly how it can feel internally. But um, I can tell you from years of experience that if you back off and you work on flexibility and strength in addition to your running, that you can you can blow past all the goals that you have. And so if this is the type of thing that you're trying to figure out and uh, you need a little bit of help, by all means, send me a message, contact me. I would love to help you figure that out, um, whether that's an at-home training program or um, something that we would work together. I just like working through these problems with people. But, but this is what I do. I help people get past IT band problems um, and hip pain and knee pain so that they can run faster and run longer. Uh, without any problems. Well, I hope that this information helps. I know this is kind of short and sweet to the point. Um, if IT band rolling helps you, feel free to keep going. But if that is, is something that doesn't feel like it's, it's actually doing you what you want it to do, give me a call.